Welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and welcome my friends to the video you have all been waiting for. So I promised that if we hit 1 million subs on the channel, we would do a mass gem spree and gem every single one of our heroes to max level. So we already gemmed the Archer Queen, she is officially maxed out level 40. But now my friends, it is time for the Barbarian King to join her on that max level status. So inside of this episode right now, you are about to see the Bob King go from level 36 to level 40 inside of one single video. This is going to be one hell of a gem spree. So just before we do get ourselves into the live action, I've acquired myself a new sponsor and a new method for every single one of you watching this video to get yourself some free gems inside of the game, guys. So if you are on iTunes, if you are on Android, I'm about to show you a 30 second display that you can use to get yourself some free gems inside of COC. So there is a link down below in the description box, guys. All you need to do is go ahead, click that link, and it's going to take you straight over to a download site called appman.io. All you need to do, click that and download it for iTunes or download it for Android. So once you've done it and you've got yourself appman.io on your device, guys, it's going to be very simple to get yourself some free gems inside of COC, maybe Clash Royale, or maybe even some Pokeballs inside of Pokemon Go. Now, the reason I've decided to actually sign with a new sponsor and forget about the old ones, quite simply, this company offers that little bit extra, which the others do not, guys. They do not share any of your private details. You do not need to download an app directly onto your phone to actually use their site, guys. It's very simple, and one of the biggest reasons why I've signed with that man is because they have a sale going on right now, and you can actually get yourself $10 gift cards for the price of $5 on iTunes, so that is absolutely awesome. Another great feature, guys, you can get Amazon gift cards, iTunes, Xbox, PlayStation, a variety, including Steam, straight to your device. So all you need to do, go onto the Get Credits page. There will be a variety of different apps for you to download, different social media for you to like, and you basically acquire credits, guys. Now, once you've acquired enough credits, all you need to do, go into the Rewards tab and click on the card that you want. So we're going to get ourselves a free, completely free, $10 iTunes gift card for the price of five, guys. So $5 is going to cost me 4,000 points, but because it is the Christmas special, we get ourselves a $10 card for the price of five. All you need to do, claim code for 4,000 points. So there we go, a $10 gift card giveaway inside of the episode. Good luck to anyone who's got that code. Enter it as quickly as you can and claim your reward. So now let's go ahead back over to COC and spend some gems. By the way, before I do forget to mention, Atman.io themselves are giving away a $50 gift card. Now, all you need to do to have the chance to win one, guys, is simply go to your Earn More page and share your actual share link down below. So let everyone in that comment section know what your share link is. Atman are going to watch this video and pick a random winner and provide you with a $50 gift card. So share, comment down below what your share link is. So here we go, we have actually filled up our iTunes account with a load of gems and now it's time to go into the shop and completely fill up our pockets. So I'm going to start by buying myself a chest of gems and then you know what, we're going to buy ourselves some of those pile of gems, the, uh, the red ones, just to donate some money to charity also. So let's get ourselves a chest to start this off with. So there we go, we've just purchased our first chest of gems, $99.99 later, and we've got so far 16,000. Now I think we're actually gonna need a little bit more. Now my actual iTunes account has a maximum spend, I think of $150 a day, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be allowed to spend more than that, but we should have enough money to get ourselves all the gems required. So here we go, a pile of red gems, 500 gems, and also some money does go to red. You know what, let's get another one of those guys. It's always good to be good to charity. So here we go, another $5 going to the uh, the red event, and there it is. So we've got ourselves a total of 17,000 gems so far, and uh, I feel like we're gonna spend this pretty damn quickly on the Barbarian King. So we're just gonna get ourselves a screenshot of the gems for a thumbnail, and now we're gonna make our way down to the Barb King. So he's currently level 36, guys. And uh, we want to send him to level 40. So what we're going to do in this episode, we're actually going to basically do a troop test. So we're going to uh, gem the Grand Warden, sorry, gem the Barbarian King from level 36 to level 39. Then we're going to attack a single play map to see what he's like at level 39. Then we're going to gem him to level 40 and see what he's like at level 40. So the first thing we're going to need to do, go into the treasury and fill up the Dark Elixir. Now I'm hoping we've actually got enough gems to do this, guys. So let's, fingers crossed, leave a like on this episode if you think we have enough gems 
to actually gem our way to a max star Barbarian King. So there we go, 200,000 Dark Elixir, Barbarian King 175,000, straight in for the 999, and we've got ourselves a level 37. Then we're going to go straight back into the treasury. I don't know how much Dark Elixir we're going to actually need in this episode, guys, but it's going to be a lot. I don't think we're going to have enough, so we may need to go ahead and buy ourselves some more gems if we can. So 180,000 Dark Elixir, 999 gems later once again, and we've got ourselves a level 38 Barbarian King. And now we're going to go back into the treasury and buy ourselves another. You wouldn't believe it, guys. Ooh, we don't have enough gems. So iTunes won't let me buy any more gems, guys, because I actually have a cap limit on my account. So here's what we're going to do. Obviously, the Barbarian King is only level 38, and we've still got 5,075 gems inside of our account right now. So what we're going to do, possibly in a few moments, we may actually upgrade the Grand Warden in a couple of moments' time. And then inside of the next episode, we will, I promise you, pinky promise finish off upgrading this Barbarian King to max level. So inside of the next video, the one directly after this, we are going to gem the Grand Warden, sorry, the Barbarian King. You know what? We're going to do both the heroes. We're going to gem the Barb King and the Grand Warden. But what we're going to do, we're going to gem the Barbarian King to level 39, do a couple of challenges, and then gem him to level 40, and see what the difference is between level 39 and level 40, and whether that one extra level, that one new level ability, makes much of a difference. So we got a level 38 Barbarian King currently sitting directly inside of our little, uh, our little actual camp here, and we're going to see if we can get ourselves into a live attack. Now, we're currently inside of the Legends League, guys, and I'm not going to lie to you, it legit takes, I don't know, sometimes up to 50 even 20 minutes to find ourselves an opponent so we're going to search for at least 10-15 minutes hopefully we can find a live attack using our newly upgraded level 38 barbarian king now do not forget tomorrow's video will be the questions and answer with a face cam guys we are also going to do a small giveaway live inside of the episode guys don't forget good luck to every single person who has been entering the giveaways we do regularly on the channel just to say thank you to every single one of you who support the channel on a daily basis so we weren't actually able to find ourselves a live attack, guys, but check this out. Look at the army I've been using. So this army was completely random yesterday. This was actually after yesterday's Royal Rumble episode. And check out the amount of Dark Elixir that I found inside of this base. So obviously the new season does start in just under one and a half days time and as soon as the new season starts i've got to come up with a new method to trophy push guys so i'm gonna have to come up with a new way to get myself a lot of trophies in the game so i'm gonna have to uh, you know completely change up the strategy i've been using now we're not gonna be using this strategy on screen this is just so so random and i don't even know why i kept this army guys i think we only one star the base but we do grab about 7,000 Dark Elixir, so that is absolutely awesome. The guy's actually got his hidden Teslas spaced out around the outside of the base, which is quite strange. So we're going to drop a bowler down just to take out the army camp on the right-hand side, and then we're about to infiltrate this guy's base, hopefully make it into the center, guys. As I said, we do actually manage to grab, I think, somewhere in the region of 7,000 Dark Elixir. So let's see how that went down. Now, obviously, the army I am going to be using to trophy push with is going to be extremely expensive in terms of loot. It's probably going to cost a lot of elixir, dark elixir, and at the end of the day, guys, it's got to be done because we are going for the top, uh, you know, maybe top two, maybe even top 100 players globally, and I'm praying that by the end of December, if I put in the hard work, loads of effort onto the channel and the trophy pushing series that we could actually possibly hit 6,000 trophies. So if you want to see me hit 6,000 trophies, go ahead and leave a like on this episode. So the Archer Queen has just taken out the Expo. There goes the uh, the enemy Archer Queen. And of course, we are looking great so far. So it's, yeah, pretty much coming to the end of the, uh, the video now, guys. Don't forget to leave a like down below if you have enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned. As I promised, there will be the Barbarian King getting gemmed to level 40 inside of the next video. So the Archer Queen just cleaning up a couple more extra percentage points there for me. May as well see if we can get 70%. Yes, we did. Did we actually grab that Dark Elixir as well? Yes, we do. So the Archer Queen, level 40 Archer Queen, complete clutch, managed to grab loads of my loot. So I will see you very shortly, guys. Have a great weekend. Love you all so, so much. Thank you for the constant support you show on the channel. I will see you shortly. Peace out.